I understand we have a full moon this week to look forward we to. What's do. it mean? What's it mean? We do. We got a full moon. Um, it'll look full Monday night. Technically, it's not not full until Tuesday morning, but full moons always bring matters to a climax because the energies are 180 degrees opposed. So it's stuff you've been working on for the last two weeks should come to some kind of climax. For Scorpio, the sign we're in, this is going to be about partnerships. It's going to be about what your partner wants rather than what you, the Scorpio, want. So your best advice is to say, yes, dear, and, and just go along with whatever they tell you. For Sagittarians, they have to be really careful, especially over the next 30 days or so, about their own words coming back to haunt them. Sagittarians, sort of the, the words just fall out of their mouth. They say what they think, um, and they really need to be careful with what it is that they say, because Scorpio can be a rather stinging sign, and people have long memories about that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, just don't cut it. For Capricorns, it is time to have a group of well-placed, powerful female friends come through for the Capricorn to help the Capricorn get some sort of creative venture off the ground. So um, their friends and their colleagues and associates are going to be the ones that help the Capricorn be successful with that. For Aquarians, straight up 10th house career in public standing. All To all Aquarians, I say give the boss whatever they say they want or you'll find yourself working from home because you don't have a job anymore. It's that kind of a thing. It is that kind of a critical matter for the Aquarian, um, which should tell Jeb Bush something. Oh. For Pisces, it is in their ninth house of the law. Legal matters, educational matters go very, very well for the Pisces. The law is on their side and they can stand on it, which is very cool for them. For Aries, it's in their 8th house of other people's resources and other people's money. This involves property, property disputes, um, and try to maximize an existing resource rather than looking for new resources. Uh, but that brings some kind of matter about that to a climax. For Taurus, as they are in the spotlight, everybody is pointing at them, everybody is talking to them. They are busier than they've ever been, so they need to really prioritize their time so they can devote their attention to what has to be done rather than everything that everybody else wants them to do. They need to be selective about that. For Gemini, sixth house of work and responsibility. Work goes very well for, for um, Gemini's, but the important thing about this is they've got some sort of health matter that they've kind of been procrastinating about and they need to get it done. They need to take care of it. They need to get a definitive answer on it because the answer is not as bad as they're afraid that it is. But the longer they delay, the worse it will end up being. For Cancers, very creative, very, very fun time for Cancers. This full moon is in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And it involves love, children, amusements, pleasures, anything that has to do with a good time um, works for Cancers over this next two-week period. For Leos, 4th house of home. They really want to stick a little closer to home. There are important things going on at home that they really need to deal with. Professional matters are going to try and take them away from their home. Um, and they need to find a way to balance the demands of the outer world with the demands of the personal world. So, for Virgos, it's in their third house of day-to-day -day living. The pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up to near warp speed. Um, and that means, and Virgos got to remember that they do their best work in person um, and to be specific in what it is that they are saying, particularly when they're dealing with legal matters or contracts or negotiations. For Libras, the last time we're going to talk about, this is in, this full moon is in their second house of earned income versus their eighth house of other people's resources. Um, and so what they really want to do is try and hook their hook up to somebody else and, and maximize their resources rather than looking for new resources of your own. You want to really maximize existing resources. So that's tomorrow's news today with this bright new full moon now that we're in the sign of Scorpio. Sounds good. We'll see you next week. Always a pleasure.